still registered. see a piece of the, the front it's just totally totally wiped out by, by the collapse what a shame what a loss that's not to say that some real enthusiast couldn't come along and salvage this but really really heartbreaking this truck is so artistic because of the condition the how it was set in the figure in front of it <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just unreal. Yeah. It was, like it yeah. Out, it was pulled out of here and never moved again. And there it is today. Looks like somebody actually vandalized the headlights. Uh, I hate these No respect. No respect at all. A lot of, a lot of yeah. uh, people, st they stole a lot out of here. Well, we still got the main block. Unreal. God bless it. Can you believe that? Yeah, the radiator hose is tight out of here. The main. Look at this. Yeah, they got the radiator. Good God. See, they had to cut the emblem out to get it. Yep. That engine could be salvaged. Got these classic vehicles back here. The days with craftsmanship. I noticed the gas cap uh, flap is, is, yeah, is yeah, open. That was not there like that before either. wonder if they went and took the cap. You know, yeah, it's possible. I went to the it, it, it seems petty, but you know what? Wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me. Uh -huh. No, it's, it's there. But look at, what, look at what else we have over here, Ben. This barn is just a nightmare. Is that an old radio? Oh, or is that a stove? Oh, boy. That is unbelievable. I don't, I don't know of a stove that has those frequency meters on there. I uh, hard time seeing the brand, but this barn is about ready to fall down. Yeah. Got that. It's an old Motorola. I think you got a, got a door over there. Got the handle on it. I want to get over there and try and pull oh, it open. Look but, at uh, that amazing one. Um, I don't know if we could actually get to that from that window. It almost looks like a, a, a workbench, a work table. I'm gonna step into here. It's it's really not safe in here. There there's a main. I mean, you 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 look at right there. There's another tree trunk as a weight bearing beam. And we've got a load bearing beam over there that that's cracked. So coming in here, and here's where that little beauty is. This is the back side of the. Well, that's not good. I got my call into a tax in the car. Bless my life. What? I'm right here at the Buick. I'm right here at the Buick. There's groundhog holes. They they should be pretty much in hibernation right now. Oh, I'm, sorry if I just got you on screen for a second. Yeah, I'm not going to go anywhere near that beam because it's a load bearer and it is broken. Yeah, this is a little bit rough. That's very, very rough. Yeah, really. Try not to bump that. Buick but, Super, 1956, see? Yep. Looky there. 
It has the original plates on it, right there. And then yeah, take a look at these load bearing beams here. Oh. Looks like an animal died right there. Okay, yeah. Oh boy. Dude, there's shoes on that shelf. Oh my god, this is just amazing. And the front seat, steering column, the whole shebang. Oh boy. Power brake. Oh boy. You know what though? That's broken. Oh, this is actually an empty pipe, so it's not going to help much. No, it's not. Dude, you got to come up and get a shot of this. Oh boy. The steering or the driving compartment. We never thought we'd gotten this close, but. Uh, that's what happens when you adventure. But yeah, that's not a very fitting end for a classic. Oh, it's just that's a shame. Well, yeah, they got the radiator too. Oh boy. You got the windscreen, but they got the radiator as well. They cut it out. Looks like just a regular. Slit six. Well, there's six another cylinder. truck on the property. It's a Chevy, and uh, yeah, they yeah, they scalped that one. Out. This one had a has a camper or a cap on it. Yeah, this is a really custom really deluxe really twenty. That's the original high license plate. The heart of it all. All right, kind of kind of shooting in the sun here, and. Uh, I really don't mean to, but I want to get the full scope of this combine. This is an old, old <laughs> John Deere. This belongs in a tractor museum, farm implement museum. Um, I, I would really hate to speculate. Probably 40 years or more. Oh, yeah. Yes, look at the tree. Okay, it's grown into it right there. So there's like 15 years right there. years that will take you back into the 70s, right? Yeah. I, mean, I have no idea. I'm not a farmer. I see the I tree growing into it though. Jeez. Yeah, that's, you see that a lot when you're out basically in, in nature doing what I normally do. You see all these anomalies. I, I actually saw one in Van Buren, the other side of the lake. Way, way in the back, somebody had planted a horseshoe in a tree. The tree was sucking it up. Yeah, okay. just sucking okay. it right up. And I thought, well, right side up, upside down, looks like that horseshoe's luck is about to run out anyway. So, yeah, this is you definitely want to get to the other side. This is a treasure trove of classic cars, classic vehicles. And they've just been sitting here going to waste. Wow. So what, what is this car? I'm not sure. Is there anything on the back? Yeah, there's an emblem, but that's it. I don't know. Let me take a look. Sure. You don't need to cross your tail. No, no. Oh. Oh. It would have had it right there. Pontiac? Yeah, I'm thinking it is. But look at it's like a look at the uh I like the gas cap. Yeah, the the, the streamline. Right, right. This is almost rotator type. Uh okay, it's got something on the steering oh, column. Yeah, this is a haven for somebody's. This is nuts. For animals. Ah, yes. I can't I can't quite make out the emblem on the knows. on the steering wheel. Uh you don't know who's gonna jump out? Don't blame you. There's a lot that we a lot of jostling around because we're trying to maneuver and get in to see this beauty. I'm trying to figure out what kind it is. The best I can think. There's nothing left on it to make it absolute identifiable. Looks like it's been in a wreck, actually. It looks like it's 
Look at the body. Dude. I mean, there's just too much body damage. Okay, yeah, that looks like a side impact. Look at everything on the front dash has been ripped out. <laughs> this is just nuts. Oh my god. Got a carburetor in the uh, driver's seat. Look at that. Buick. This car has definitely been in a rush. Yeah. Down the back. The Buick Super 8. Okay. It's a heavy, heavy car. Nineteen to do. Is it a one four eight Victor? Yep. That is so insane. Yep. Look at the color of that, like a turquoise, like a aquamarine. You know it's the same color as the beauty color over there. Anyway, guys, we got more. Oh my God. We have another Buick. This is a different, actually going to sidetrack a bit. This is another harvester with a uh, auger bit. And dude, take a look at the tree. It's grown in. Oh yeah. This has been here forever. If mother nature can't work with you, she'll work around you. This one's been here for a long time. It has. I have no idea how to even begin to this take this. This is probably from the 30s. And dude, there's like a, like a tree, a huge tree going through it. That fell over. Wow. This one has been totally gutted. Absolutely trunk. Wow. Dashboard the whole thing. Look at that. Well, dang. Wow. This thing has been here so long. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So deep in the ground. Super 8. And what was the one back in the garage? Or the, the bar? Uh, Another Super 8. Probably. I think it was. No, yeah. It was a, I think you're right. It was a Super, yeah. You know, I'm wondering if he didn't have all of these and he just salvaged parts off of uh, some to keep the one running. Right. So you're saying we got the cars like this. Like that one was wrecked. So he got that one because he to get parts out of it, right? This well, one. yeah, that's that's another way. Another way of looking at it is he liked the Buick Super 8 so well that when he wrecked one, he went out and bought another one and decided to keep that one for parts and, and the same with this one. This is an old truck. This is an old truck. So I'll leave you with that. And uh, man, a lot of fun hanging out with Jack as well. <laughs> when, you, when, when you look at the, the body style, that's that's old. 40s stuff. Yeah, this is absolutely from the early 40s. But what did they do with all the rest of it? What did they do with the rest of it? Still got the block. Yeah, that's old solid good metal. <laughs> all these cars are so solid. Yeah. The weight of them. Think about that. Anyway. Oh, man. Yep. Anybody has a, have a guess as to what this might be? You know, just, just leave a comment. I'd be interested because I'm I, I'm not a car guy. Uh, if if I can see it, I can probably change it. That doesn't mean I won't have to walk <laughs> away about three or four different times from it. But it's just not my thing. So, if you've got an idea? Let us know. I'd appreciate it. So we're going to shut down for a little bit. We're going to take some stills of uh, everything around us, and. We'll just have some bonus picks on this clip, that's for sure. Thanks for watching this one, guys.
This is Jack. I'm outdoors with my buddy Ben. Glad, hey, to, glad to have you along. And for right now, we're both done roving. Definitely. This this has to be the man's workshop. Again, he was an electrician. He by by the the scattered appliances inside and out. Worked on radios, a ham a radio operator. Here is a 1986 calendar, but the thing is, he's got personal notes here. He kept track of rainfall, snow on a daily basis. Amazing what, what a man will do and keep himself busy. But I'm going to show you right now. We got got a little you know, set of cupboards here. We're not going to open that because that what you're looking at right now that would be a squirrel's nest. And these are all walnuts. That's that's a that's a squirrel's winter cache right there. So it's not likely, but on the off chance that Mr. Squirrel and company is home, we're staying out. <laughs> 